I'm going to show you how to enable and disable call forwarding on a Yealink VP59. I'll show you how to manually forward a single call as well as how to set up automatic call forwarding on your phone. Call forwarding allows calls made to your line to be forwarded to another internal extension or external number. There are three types of call forwarding, always, busy, and no answer. Always forwards all of your calls. Busy forwards calls that arrive when you're already on a call. And no answer forwards your calls after a predefined amount of rings. Please note, if you are planning to use the call forwarding busy option, call waiting must be disabled first. Although I won't demonstrate how to do that in this video, call waiting can be disabled by pressing menu, features, and then call waiting. Let me first show you how to forward a single call. When the call comes in, simply tap the forward icon. Then enter the internal extension or external number to which you would like the call to be forwarded. And then tap forward. The call has been forwarded successfully. Now let's look at how to set things up so that your phone automatically forwards your calls. To enable call forwarding, swipe your screen to see more options. Tap settings. From the features section, Select Call Forward. Select the desired forwarding type. Let's assume that you're going to be out of the office and you would like to forward all of your calls to a colleague during that time. For this scenario, select Always Forward. Enable Call Forwarding by tapping On. In the Forward To field, enter the internal extension or external number to which the calls will be forwarded. If you selected no answer, you'll also need to specify the number of rings to wait before the call is forwarded. You don't need to worry about adding data to these fields in order to enable call forwarding. Be sure to tap the checkmark icon to save. If you need to disable call forwarding, simply repeat these steps Switch the status to off, and then tap the checkmark icon again. If you have additional questions, please view our online resources or contact our support team who would be glad to assist you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel 